What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to Torchlight 2! We're up here by this rusted golem, because we have a quest to turn in! We've got a power source, and we've got a nice old professor here with a huge gloved hand, ready to install it, and power up something, I would imagine. Um, not much to tell in the city. I did find another skill spell thing. Uh, this popped up, Adventuring 4. Seemed pretty good. It was only like 6,000 something gold, so I always err on the side of being safe and buying these things just in case. Um, but better potions, more experience, more fame, and if I die, I never die though. I haven't died one single time in this entire series, so it doesn't really matter to me, but resurrection penalties, you know, for other people who aren't quite as MLG, <sighs> be nice for them but it's there just in case you know you never know uh, but it seems pretty nice once again I have no idea what this does I'm sure it's pretty terrible like you get one extra experience per per whatever per kill or something so not expecting much but I can try it because this slot is currently open uh, I didn't really care much for draining touch three so we're still cycling through that I would really like to get a better version of this as well. It'd be kind of nice. It says rank 3, though. I forgot. I don't know what that means. I remember having this discussion with myself before. Does that mean it's marksmanship level 3? I don't know. Anyways, let's remove this spell. Remove. Good. And we'll equip this and see what happens. We'll equip this and see... We'll, we'll equip this and... We'll, we'll equip this. We'll equip this and... We'll equip this... Final click and drag. I what? Oh my god, it's level 46. That's fine. We're almost 46 anyways. I totally saw that. I was just making a funny. It was a joke. It was a skit. You see, it was it was all planned. I knew that the whole time. So oh, you people panicking over there. <laughs> Are we almost done with this recording? Oh god, it's only been going for three minutes. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I can't screw this up, right? This power source will fit perfectly into the automaton's boiler. Good. Hmm. Boiler. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Uh, you didn't do anything yet, that's why. I was afraid Let me guess, I have to go get something else. The power source is completely drained. This is going to be more difficult than I'd anticipated. Can you imagine living in a world that is a video game? Like... <laughs> Stop and think about it for just one second. It's like... Every MMO, every RPG, every quest you ever get in a video game, usually, is like, hey, go do this thing. And then you bring it back and they're like, hmm, well, actually, we need you to go do this. And then you do that and it's like, well, that didn't work either. Go do this thing. It's like, imagine this in real life. It's, it's, you're told to go get milk from the store and you bring it back and they're like, hmm, actually, this milk doesn't seem to be cutting it. What we really need is milk with chocolate powder. So what I'm going to need you to do is go to a different store now and buy the chocolate powder so that we can combine the two and then we'll have chocolate powder infused milk, also known as chocolate milk, that we can then put in this and make something better. Assuming that even works. It's like just try to go through and do your life with RPG quests in mind. It'd just It'd just be fascinating to me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? 1,200 gold. 5,400 experience. And what? Wildwood chest. Dwarf King. Oh my god. I can't even get away from these in quest rewards. What happened to Iron Lord? It's just gone. I bet you if I started to buy either of these, they'd start to become rare. And all I'd see is Iron Lord stuff after that. My goodness. Okay, well, what's the most expensive thing in here? This? It's 252? Alright, not the 252 gold is really this all that much better. We knew about these power oh yeah, no, it's a minor setback for you, because all you have to do is stand the there. Side of the sundered battlefield. We found machines there that the ancient dwarves once used to craft them. Mm, okay. If you can reach the ember works, it should be child's play to recharge <laughs> You'll have to make your way through uh, the Riven Skull Pass. To oh, that sounds battle. great. Once you've charged the power source, come back here and we'll install it in the automaton. 
good. And then what? We'll need to find some other piece, like the brain or something. I like how he says this is only a minor setback. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, well, you know, all you have to do is uh, go through Riven Skull Pass. I like how it's it's like this minor setback that should be easy, but all he kept keeps saying is, if you can reach the Emberworks, it should be Child's Play. I, <laughs> what? Great. Riven Skull Pass. Sounds good, dude. You want to come with me? Do you, you, you want to join me? It's Child's Play. I mean, we could take a walk. We could talk. Let's talk about stuff. Shall we? No? No? That, that's what I thought. Yeah. Child's Play. So we can go through here now. Yes! That means we can do the Fade's Passage quest. Finally. We can see what that is. Great! Yeah, no, it'll be fun. The first thing that happens when I walk in here is some dude throws an axe at my face. Yeah, it'll be great. Thanks. Child's play. Okay, let's get to... Why are these guys walking so slow? Is that how slow they usually walk? Uh, let's get to level 46, shall we? We've got a skill to try, and we've got a whole bunch of other skills that we need to upgrade. Hello, gate. Ha! You missed me! You missed me again! Oh, wait, no, I don't think he did, actually. It just looked like it. Yeah, I'm pushing you back into that hole. Now nobody will ever know you existed in the first place. Oh, dear. Okay, we're doing this, we're doing this, we're doing that, and we're doing that. There's a lot of stuff that was running around here. So make sure you watch out for guys with giant mace, axe, club things. Because apparently they can kill you in one hit. I still don't know how that happened, by the way. I went back and watched the footage. I was in my healing circle. I had full health. And he killed me in one shot. And to top that off, I don't even think I was directly under the weapon. I think I was a little bit past it. So... No idea. I call foul play on that. I want to redo, and I don't think I deserve that death. There's a lot of deaths I have deserved in this game for being stupid or not paying attention. That wasn't one of them. Hello, bats. Have you met my bats? My bats glow, and they're better than you. You guys are definitely, uh, strong against arrows. Swamp Boing. Sounds like a terrible condition that you should go see a doctor about. Yeah, I've, uh, got Swamp Wing. Came back from questing in the, uh, old swampy area, and... Yep, I think I got Swamp Wing. Volcanic Archer? I didn't even see what the heck that was. I just happened to see where my mouse was hovering over. Pretty sure it's a volcanic archer. Pretty sure. I wonder if I should have gone the other way. Ah, I'm sure we'll be fine. Go Glaive! Do your, uh, your chaining for me. Someday I'll upgrade you, I promise. Someday you'll be able to go an extra chain. I don't know when. But someday. Get out of here! Yeah, you guys explode nicely in the ice. It's very pleasing. Corpse fire. Well, maybe it's not ice. It almost seems like it's just blue fire. So maybe it isn't actually ice. I might be wrong. It's kind of like that when you buy drinks in a store. Probably the best example I could give you is something like Gatorade. And it's a color. Like they've got purple Gatorade and blue Gatorade and orange Gatorade. But when you look at some of them, they just have the most ludicrous names. And you go, what flavor is this? Would it kill you to put the flavor in the title? It's like, what? 
what's something that would be a Gatorade flavor like? Blue ice. Or... I, I don't know. That's the one I think of off the top of my head. That could be a title. And you look at that and you go, what flavor is that? Is that just blue flavored? I mean, I would assume it's raspberry, but is it? I don't know. It's just ice destruction flavor. Or electric green. I, I, I don't know. That one seems a little redundant, but you know, you know what I'm talking about. Long story short, don't judge a glowing blue skeleton based on his glowing blueness and assume that he is a uh, frost. Because I see this little like misty patch and that to me speaks frost. If he had little electrical currents, I would assume it's lightning. But yeah. What are you? Forest gargoyle. And he's gone. Oh, and he's back. And he's gone again. <laughs> what was that? It's like he used the move Fly from Pokemon. That's what that reminded me of. I can't actually get back here anymore. I should probably go look at this. It's eating away at me. Because our star is up top. Down low. But this path goes over here and there's no other way to get to it so far. So I have to imagine this is a dead end. Look at all these bats over here. Bronze Sabatons. Sabaton. Epic metal band. Love Sabaton. They just released an album this year called The Great War. It's all about World War One. Really good album. I should recap. I might do that, actually. I should recap in some random video all of the metal albums that I bought this year. It was a very, very good year for metal. Wait, I couldn't get here before? Oh my god, are you serious? So let me, let me, let's just take a step back here. There's an opening here in the gate that one might think you could walk through, but if I try to walk through there, it won't allow me to. It routes me around. But for some unknown reason, this hidden path very convolutedly, unknowingly, here, I can walk through. But not here. The path, that's obviously clear. And they allow you to walk through here, so why they would block that off in the first place? I don't know. <sighs> I could have just gone that way. Oh, man. Now I feel like I'm stupid. Easy there with the fire turbo. Don't you know you could hurt somebody with that? Wow, that was cool, actually. It, like, went off, hit the wall, reflected, and curved around. That was actually pretty neat. I would like something like that, if you would please. Where are these guys coming from? Are they coming out of these houses, these small stone houses? Explain yourselves to me. Maybe they were standing back here, in the alleyways between the small stone houses. That makes more sense. Are there more of you over here? Hidden away? No? Yeah, there better not be. Ah, you. Ah, I'm not falling for it this time. You and your blue glacier attack. No, I can't say glacier. Well, no, glacier would be appropriate to a Gatorade drink. But then again, that presumes that I am uh, assuming he's ice, which isn't fair. I mean, really, come on. Blueberries exist. How come nobody assumes blue drinks are blueberry? I mean, you never see any blueberry drinks, thankfully, because nobody likes blueberries, but I always assume when I see blue... Oh, they do come out of the small stone houses. That is going to be blue raspberry. So, I don't know. I don't know why I'm still talking about that. It's just weird to me. Now what I want to do is go to the store, look at all of the Gatorade names, and then come back and tell them all to you. To see how many of them make sense and how many don't. I think there was one that I bought. Because I don't really like berries in general. For the most part. I think there was one that's pink. And it's just called berry something. I'm like, well, what berry is that? There's no... I mean, there are pink berries. I mean, Stardew Valley taught me that there's something called salmon berries. For God's sake. I don't know what the hell that is. 
But I looked at that, I'm like, is this a mix of berries? Is this like a fruit punch? Is this rasp berries? Is this cherry? No, because cherry would be red. Cherry always gets its own drink. I, I mean, berry? It ended up being disgusting, because like I said, I don't like berries, but yeah. You gotta be careful. You can't trust colors of drinks. It's just not right. I mean, there's blue lemonade. There's pink lemonade. What does that even mean? Lemonade is lemonade. There's no pink. Are there pink lemons? I don't know. I guess I shouldn't say there's no such thing as pink lemons. But is that, do they taste different? I don't know. I couldn't tell you if there's a different taste between pink and yellow lemonade. I drink both. I, I don't know, but there's blue lemonade too. What's the difference? Why isn't there a purple lemonade? Or a green lemonade for all that matters. Isn't it just the same thing but colored differently? I don't know. I just, it doesn't make any sense to me. I will try to remember to get a list of Gatorade drinks and uh, put them in one of these episodes just because I think it'd be exciting. I mean, to be fair, they do have a one called Lemon Lime, I believe, or something along those lines. So they do know how to make them the actual name so you know what you're getting. Oh well. Is this a way to go? No, okay, this looks like a secret for a second. Just for one second, that's all. No longer than one second, I promise. Are you gonna fly up again? I'm ready for you. Hey, you flew forward. That's not correct. Up is that way. It doesn't work the other way. Pleated shoulder. Doesn't sound like much protection. Does he have like a like a schoolgirl skirt on his shoulder? Is that what that is? A pleated shoulder pad? Oh, I'm so fancy. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, waypoint portal! Look at that! Oh, this is an actual area! Oh... Okay... Are you digging graves? You are. That's pretty cool. Yeah, grave digger. Look at that! Whoops! I will give you props for that. That's a cool enemy. That's actually something I've never seen before in a game. There's stuff that summons undead, obviously. Every game does that. But having an actual enemy that comes out and digs up an enemy, that's pretty cool. Well done, Torchlight. Well done. I've always thought the Torchlight series was pretty creative in its stuff that it does. It's the way it looks. It's the feel and the heart of the game. The soul of the game. How far are we, anyways? Well... I feel like we're doing pretty good. I got you before you dug it up. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're doing pretty good. This doesn't look like an area that's really... Like a large area where I usually go around the outside. It seems like I'm pretty well able to... Kind of just do the paths. As they're presented. So I don't know that this is necessarily a huge area. But it's definitely... Worthy of getting its own little waypoint portal. That's always good. Nope, nope, can't walk through there. Stop trying. Hi, skeleton. You're on the wrong side of the fence, buddy. I know it's confusing for you, but that's what's happening. He has a little lamp. That's cool. You failed. Can a grave digger dig up another grave digger? How much grave could a grave digger dig if a grave digger could dig grave digger graves? Huh, think about that one for a second. Wow, I can't believe I actually pulled that off. <laughs> it's hard enough to do tongue twisters, but making a tongue twister on the spot and not messing it up? Not too shabby. Look at all these guys here. You can't get through my knockback. My knockback is too extreme for you. <laughs> Keep digging graves. Soon you'll be digging your own grave. A wee rat. That's a lot of guys. Let's do this and this for fun. Go, my brand new six set. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Am I waiting on that too? I am. Ooh, I get that at the same time as forty-six. There's a lot to look forward to for forty-six, and it looks like we're almost there. Yes! This looks like a trap. 
If this was Grim Dawn, I'd be really wary that a gate's going to close behind me. Or uh, Titan Quest, I suppose, for that matter. Locked Virax's tower. Virax's tower. Locked. Locked, locked, locked. Okay, hopefully we get a key for that at some point. For now, I'm just going to skip on over that. And we'll continue heading uh, this way. The way that I'm now walking. Because I'm already walking that way, so it sounds like the best way to me. Are you going up? Yep. Sucker. <laughs> Hello, urn. Dash attack, ground slam, cannot be interrupted with missile reflection. Apparently, my arrows don't count as missiles. Which makes sense, they're not missiles. I would consider them projectiles. I mean, I guess... Yes, level 46! I guess some people might call them projectiles. Right? It's something that is hurled through the air. I mean, anything could be a projectile. A book could be a projectile if I threw it at you. A bottle of Gatorade could be a projectile. So, yes, I guess technically I consider my arrows projectiles. They're just planned projectiles, though, so I don't know. Maybe there's a difference. Probably not. All right, let's take a look here. We've got a lot to do here. Um, strength, yes. Dexterity, yes. Vitality, yes. We finally made it to 50 vitality. Woohoo! All right. 666, six, six. yes! The ultimate spot to leave your experience. It's always good when that happens. I looked at my thermometer one day randomly, because I never look at it, I don't care. Um, I looked at it one day randomly, and the temperature was 66.6. .6. I was like, yes! <laughs> okay. Skills. Nothing in there, nothing in there. It's just all these guys. So, you... 2%. That's the same. And a little bit of extra health recovery. We're almost to the next level of this. To where we get to reflect 50%. <sighs> Ooh, can you taste that? 50% of all damage reflected back. That's just incredible. I know I don't, I still take the damage, but anything that attacks me, they'll get 50% of that right back in their faces. And that's amazing to me. All right, let's do it. Boop. 53. Ugh. Seven more levels. I have a strong inkling that I will not be making it to level 53. Based on absolutely nothing. I mean, I have no idea how long Torchlight is, but I feel like we're probably in the final act of this. Um, so yeah, this is probably the last stone pack level we'll ever, we'll ever see. You are never going to make it to tier two, I'm pretty sure. So we'll never see the dash attack. But you get 5% extra damage. So that's good. Good on you, mate. Current rank 4. Well, I take that back. Level 48. I can see 48 in the cards. So we might actually get him to a dash attack. Shadowing life. Definitely will take that. 25 seconds. Do 50% additional damage. Yes! Okay, so those those three. Next level we're looking for is 49. Three levels. We need to save one point in that span. No, we need to save two points. So I guess I technically can't spend either of these. I will get a point, though. So I need to save one point. Yeah, that's... We'll see if I can make it to the Glaive. Well, I still need a point for the... The big guy, too. The Shadowing Brute. So, I don't know that the Glaive's going to get there. Also, I don't need you here anymore. Because we're going to do this. Chip. Okay, let's learn you. 4% increase in experience, 4% increase in amount of fame, and 32% potion effectiveness. It doesn't say anything about the... Re Reduction and death penalty, though. What does it do there? Huh. Alright. I, I hope it's good. Should I go die to find out? 
Okay, so we need to remove, I have archers four, it's level 46. Archers three, right there. Summon archers, summon archers, okay. Oh yeah, rank four. Okay, so this is rank three. I still don't understand why some of these, it says summon archers three, like right here, summon archers four. Now watch, get rid of summon archers three, remove, learn summon archers four. See how it keeps Summon Archers 4 up here? How come this one says Adventuring 4, and then when you put it in it says Adventuring, and then it goes to Rank 4, and then here it says Summon Archers 4, and then there's nothing under it. The only thing that's different about these is that these can only have one equipped at a time. I don't know. Anyways. Anywho... Is there anything else we need to do here? Does pet need something? I don't think so. Summon, summon skeleton three. I don't have another one of these. I don't have another one of those. Summon zombie two. Hmm. I almost wonder if it's worth having the skeleton three over the zombie. Well, this is zombies. So that's a pack. I will keep that. That sounds much better. Dual wielding? Why do I have that? I, I don't actually know why I have that. Were these spells that I was going to sell? I think they are. And these are spells I was keeping just in case. I do believe. Okay, so let's let's stop the episode here. I'm going to go ahead and make a portal and see if there's anything new with the Imperial camp. I need to go back and look. Somebody told me what the conditions were for shop response and I forgot because I'm dumb so I need to go back and look at that to see what the conditions are these are definitely new I don't recognize any of these elemental protection 4 imbued with increased elemental armor Ooh, it's only 4 grand I will definitely take that oh shift click to buy right okay dervish 4 dervish 3 how much are you ugh I only have 7,000 gold? Now watch, this is when the Iron Lord armor is going to be here. Working, nothing, nothing. Whew. We lucked out there. Where did all my money go? I guess probably because I'm just buying stuff left and right. Hello. Crap. I really need to get money. I don't know how. All I can do is run around and adventure. What more can I do beyond that? And enemies don't respawn, so I don't know how to get money. I mean, I could sell some of this. Probably not worth a whole lot, though. Well, not the Iron Lord. I was just hovering over that because it was there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think any of these are actually technically worth selling. Okay, well, we have no money, so I need to be really careful what I'm buying from now on. I guess I shouldn't just be buying things because they're there. Like this. Yeah. Alright, well, if anybody has any tips on getting money, let me know. But I will just have to stop spending uh, money on random things. I'm just... <laughs> I'm super worried. It's weird, because I don't... You get in this mind space where you're, when, when you're playing a game for a YouTube video, where you see something in the game, and for me, I it never happens, but I try to be two weeks ahead on recordings, just in case I get sick or something happens, that way videos can keep flowing, and I don't have to worry as much about the day-to-day -day operations, but you get in this mindset of seeing things or doing things in, in the game where you look at that and you go, oh man, somebody's gonna watch this video and I'm not going to buy this. And they're gonna go, oh my God, that was the rarest thing in the game. I've never seen that. It's literally a 0.1% chance of it appearing in the game and you passed over it. And then you feel really crappy about your entire life and existence. And <laughs> like, <laughs> so I get in this mindset of seeing things that seem decent and I go, well, maybe I should just buy that in case somebody comes back and comments on my video and goes, wow, you're so lucky to have found that. I'm like, yeah, I know. 
that's why I bought it, because I totally knew that was rare. And then it ends up nobody ever cares. So, <laughs> like, I, I end up wasting all this money on stuff that I'm probably never going to use, which is highly unfortunate, but I don't know. They seem good. Those seem like cheap prices, but I guess when you buy, you know, one to three of those every video, I guess, yeah, that is going to uh, take away your money pretty quick. Pretty quick indeed. Also, we need to redo this. Skeletal Archers 4! Alright, well, we've made it to the next area. Uh, the next video, we're just going to keep going through that next area. That's all I've got planned. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I am... Oh, wait, no. I almost went back to that portal. We've been spending so much time going through that portal. I know why I was going to that portal. Because I need the portal. <laughs> There's a reason I was going through that portal so much. It's because the portal is how you travel to other worlds. Go figure. I don't know how many of you knew that. But it's a pro tip for me. Good old madcap. These let you travel around to other portals that you may or may not have placed down. There you go. So I am going to stop here. And that way I'm not even tempted to go to the city, theoretically, at all in the next episode. If I don't know it's there, I can't buy it, right? That's my theory. And it works. Hey, there you go. There's a message. I didn't silence my phone. I swear I did. Good job. We'll cut that out in post, right? I'm going to forget. Trust me. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, steam metal.